Um, excuse me, do you know what the time is? Hmm, let me see. It's five minutes to nine. Okay, thank you. I'm running late for school. Chester Road's the next stop though, right? Are you going to Chester Road School? Maybe. Please don't be afraid. I'm starting at Chester Road School today. I'm the new teaching assistant for the computer class, Miss Mason. Oh, I'm really sorry. I've always been taught to be really careful around strangers. I'm Maddie. <laughs> Good to meet you, Maddie. Your parents have done really well to teach you to be careful. There are many weird people in the world. Well, Miss Mason, could I ask you a question if you don't mind? Sure, feel free. Our teachers asked us to make a presentation on a country, and we have to search for information. Okay, which country is it? I know a lot about different countries and I can give you some pointers. It looks like this is our stop. Yes, that's right. Let's get off here and we can talk on the way to school. So, Maddie, you were saying about a class presentation on a country. Which one is it? It's a country called Kayoni. The problem is, I know nothing about it. And not only that, but my teacher said we aren't allowed to use the internet. Hmm, it does sound difficult without the internet. I asked my mum about it last night, and she said she thinks it's an island in the Pacific Ocean. She wasn't sure. She says she thinks it's near the Solomon Islands. Oh, that requires a bit of research, Maddie. Kayoni is actually in the Indian Ocean. I'll bring you some things to read tomorrow. Okay, thanks, Miss Mason. That's really helpful. You are welcome. Hi, everybody. My apologies as I won't be able to stay for the meeting because I have a class. I thought to just quickly pop in to welcome Miss Mason. It's good to have you with us, Miss Mason. Welcome to the school. I come to find you later as we have a class presentation and I wanted some ideas. No problem at all, Miss Avok. It's great to be part of the school. I'm happy to help, so I'll come and find you later at your office. That's great. See you a little later. Bye for now. So, Miss Mason, welcome again to the team. We are really thrilled to have you with us helping the children of our school to develop computer skills and digital literacy. I thought I'd organise this meeting to have an informal chat with the team about your role. We have had some incidents of false information and fake news going around the school lately. Your role is therefore very important for our school. We have to make sure that all the children know how to find good quality information. Certainly, no problem. That's what I'm here for. Hi Maddie, good to see you again. How's your work for the class presentation going? Good to see you too, Miss Mason. It's going okay, I guess. Oh, you don't sound very enthusiastic. I promised to give you some information about the country. I've been thinking that you could speak to Mr. Sherlamond. Who's Mr. Sherlamond? He owns one of the travel shops nearby. He knows a lot about different countries. That sounds like a good idea. Thanks, Miss Mason. Where can I find him? His shop is at Baker Street, just outside the school. No more than five minutes away from here, after the flower shop. Great. I'll give it a try. Yes, I'd recommend Mr. Sherlamond. Also, Maddie, 
Because I'm going to be quite busy the next few days, I could give you another idea too, just in case this one doesn't work. Sure. What's the other idea? So, you may also want to check with Mrs. Canabera, the science teacher. She has travelled a lot and I'm sure that she will point you in the right direction. Thanks. I'll give one of these ideas a try. I'm really confused with this country and I just want to make sure that I'm accurate for my presentation. Oh, that's the bell. Again, thank you so much, Miss Mason. Oh, you're welcome, Maddie. See you later, Miss Mason. Great, both those ideas actually sounded good. I'll go meet Mr. Sherlmond after school. 